now available on video. Awesome adventure. Unbelievable action. The never-ending fight against evil. It's non-stop excitement with the Action Heroes. Spider-Man, what's he got to do with this? Yes, it's the incredible Spider-Man. Mild-mannered Peter Parker takes time off from looking after his Aunt May and takes on a terrifying array of villains in his action hero disguise, spinning a constant web of excitement and adventure. I did it. I beat the most unforgiving opponent I've ever faced. And the invincible Iron Man, his special armor protecting him from some of the toughest villains in the galaxy, led by the fiendish Mandarin. I, the Mandarin, summon you! Hypnosia! Dread Knight, Black Lash, Whirlwind, Living Laser! The most amazing foursome on the planet, accidentally hit by cosmic rays, they develop cosmic powers. Together, we have more power than four beings have ever possessed. Yes, it's the Fantastic Four, Mr. Fantastic himself, the Invisible Woman, the Human Torch, and Ben Grimm, alias The Thing. Hey, if being a superhero was easy, any bozo could do it. Frozen as stone by day, but active by night, Gargoyles complete the Action Heroes collection. You're awake. You're alive! Battling with humans across the ages, the Gargoyles now fight the war against evil amidst the modern-day skyscrapers of New York. There is good and evil in all of us, human and gargoyle alike. Collect all the action hero titles and follow their never-ending battle against crime and villainy across the universe. Face me human if you dare. <gasps> Collect them today. I wonder if this city's ready for you guys. More than any other Marvel Comics character, and perhaps more than any other character in comic book history, Spider-Man represents what would happen if an average youngster were suddenly given superpowers. This is Stan Lee confessing a secret, the fact that most people don't know that our world-famous wall crawler was created almost as an afterthought. This is how it happened. 34 years ago, in 1962, we at Marvel Comics were on a winning streak. In less than a year, we had published the Fantastic Four, the Mighty Thor, and the Incredible Hulk, three new superhero titles, which became the most popular comics of their time. Now, that very summer, I managed to convince my publisher, Martin Goodman, to let me try out a new character, half man, half spider. Martin was afraid the public might find spiders too grotesque, but he gave me the go-ahead anyway. Well, Spider-Man made his debut in a magazine that was just about to be canceled called Amazing Adult Fantasy. We shortened its title to Amazing Fantasy, and in August of 1962, it featured, for the first time anywhere, the origin of Spider-Man. In that famous first issue, drawn by the multi-talented Steve Ditko, an orphaned high school student named Peter Parker lived with his elderly Uncle Ben and Ben's sickly wife, Peter's gentle Aunt May. One day, on a school outing to an exhibit of atomic science, Peter was bitten by a very special spider, a spider that had just become supercharged by radiation. From that fateful bite, Peter Parker discovered that he had acquired the amazing powers of an arachnid, as spiders are called. Soon after, he created his costume and developed an amazing talent for spinning webs. Now, Peter Parker earned a meager living as a photographer for the Daily Bugle. 
His world included his bombastic boss, J. Jonah Jameson, his ill-fated girlfriend, Gwen Stacy, and his other girlfriend, the irrepressible Mary Jane Watson. Unforgettable supervillains also populate Spidey's world. Villains such as Dr. Octopus, the Vulture, and the grotesque and merciless Green Goblin. What makes Spider-Man unique is not his crime-fighting skill. Any superhero can do that. It's his immaturity. It's his having to do homework. It's his need to care for Aunt May. And it's his messing up every now and then. Just like any kid, and just like most adults, the guy still has to earn a living. And he has to live and function in a very real and often confusing world. At the end of his first appearance in Amazing Adventures number one, when Spider-Man walked away into the night, I decided to send him off with a saying that has since become well known throughout the world. With great power, there must also come great responsibility. In the years that followed, Spidey has become a legend as the superhero who could be you. <laughs> and take it from me, in my case, he is. And now, here's a tale that deserves to be called an epic. They say that clothes make the man, but in this case, clothes make the Spider-Man. It's the Venom Saga, the story of an alien costume that changes whoever wears it into pure evil. In this momentous case, the person who wears it is Spider-Man. This classic animated adventure gives whole new meaning to the phrase costume drama.